Hello guys, welcome to Solution Mind with JP, our YouTube channel. First of all, I would like to remind you if you are not still our subscriber, please subscribe our YouTube channel and tap the bell icon. That way you can find out our newest video as soon as. Okay, let's start the video. Okay guys, today our topic is create a new Nginx server blocks. Don't worry about this topic. Simply. Today we try to learn how to create virtual hosts in Nginx. Ok, this scenario has mainly 7 topics. But some topics are simple things. But I mention there are, because if you are beginner, you can understand it very easily. First one is, create a separate directory. Second one is, create a sample page. Third one is, Create an Nginx virtual host. Fourth one is, link it with site enable file. Fifth one is, check Nginx status. Sixth one is, restart server. Seventh one is, create host name. Now you can see these topics with sample commands. Don't worry about these commands, because I will explain it in our practical part. Okay guys, let's try this practically. First, we want to create new directory for our project. I use in this case, our project name is, sample project. Don't worry about this file path, because you can create it, as your wish. Ok, now you can see our project directory in test directory. Also it has other directory, don't worry about it, because I was created for test run. Now you can see, our project directory has, lock icon. Because still we not give permission for it. I will explain to you later. Ok, before explain next topic, I think good to explain basic terminal commands. Because if you're the beginner, it will help fall to you. First, if you want to go some directory, you can use this command, c, d, next, type your file path. After, if you want to see, what are the files already in your directory, you can use, double L command.
and, if you want to remove a file, you can use following command. Now, you can see, that file was deleted. And you can see, R, W, X, letters, that's mean, read, write, executable, these are permission types. You can see test 123, file has all permissions. Because, I already give full permission for it. I will explain to you, how to give full permissions to your files. Next one is, if you want to go to one directory back, you can use cd, spis, double dots. If you want go, full back, you can use cd. Ok. Now, we move again our topic, for that, recreate our sample project directory. Ok, now you can see, our directory created. Now, our next task is, assigning the directory's ownership. One thing you want to remember, that one is, in this time I use my username is Gaia N, but, you want to remember use your username. If you want to see again your directory, now you can see, that file before has a lock icon, now it is removed.
Now we try to give permission for that file. For that, use following command. Now you can go and check your directory, now you can see before I mentioned, read, write, executable, permissions are assigned your project. Ok, our next task is, create a sample page, for our project. Then we want to create, index.html file. Now, if you want to insert some code, click AA key in your keyboard. Now you can enter your HTML code. Ok, now, if you want to save your code, click W and Q like following. You can see, your code saved correctly. Next one is, create nginx virtual host, you can use following command, for create our project, in sites available directory.
I use my existing code, because time saving. Don't worry about it, I will explain that code. Others are same, you want to change, project name and file path on root line. And next, you want to change server name, as your wish. Ok, let's save. Next one is, link it with, sites enable file. Now, check your Nginx status. If you do it correctly, you can see following message in your terminal. Now, restart Nginx. Next one is, create host name. If you want to edit file, you can use, nah no command like this. Ok, let's set our domain name like this.
Now, you can go your browser, and check it is working or not, by using your domain name. Ok guys, we did it. Ok. If you have any problem, please comment in this video comment line, and try to run, index.php file is like this. Ok guys. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any idea or any question, please comment in this video comment like. Finally, I would like to remind you again, still if you are not our subscriber, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and tap the bell icon. Okay guys, we will meet next video. Bye for now.